affected nations. Phyllis Bennis is a fellow at the Institute for Policy Studies. She joins us uh, from Washington, D.C. Welcome once again to Al Jazeera. It's no surprise, is it, that Lakhda Brahimi has resigned? No, it's not a surprise at all. We've been hearing for quite some time from Dr. Brahimi that he intended to resign. I think what's important is less his own decision than what it says about the major powers in the UN Security Council, most particularly the United States and Russia, the main global backers of the two sides in the Syrian war. As long as they are not prepared to stop sending weapons, to, to allow the fighting to go forward, the role of any envoy is, is, is simply not going to work. It doesn't really matter who the next one is if there's not going to be a change. The possibility of a regional initiative, uh, of course, would, would require the United States to allow Saudi Arabia and Iran jointly to take such an initiative. The U.S. so far has taken an unconscionable position of saying that, that, that Iran could not be involved in Syria talks, which of course is essentially a guarantee that if such talks were ever held, that they would fail if one of the major players is not allowed to be at the table. So there would have to be pressure brought to bear on the United States, and that is happening from within the U.S. in, in terms of civil society pressure, to ensure that if there is any possibility of a new initiative to be taken by Iran with Saudi Arabia, that that regional uh, possibility be fully explored. Beyond that, there is still the obligation of the United States and Russia to call for an immediate ceasefire and an immediate arms embargo on all sides. That's the only way that any kind of negotiations can go forward. The West uh, has been talking openly about diplomacy, a diplomatic solution, but realistically, <clears throat> is that even a possibility at the stage? Right now, we don't know of anything particular that would say that immediate diplomacy is possible. There are these new rumors today that we're hearing about the chances for a new initiative to be taken by Iran involving Saudi Arabia, a regional initiative. That could be very hopeful. Uh, but I think one of the problems is that we are hearing from the United States and its allies, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey, other countries, that there is no military solution, and yet their only response is to debate what kind of new weapons to send. The same problem that we have with Russia and Iran, the main backers of the Syrian regime, who say there must be a political solution, but continue to provide arms and protection on both sides. There needs to be an end to the arming, an end to the support for the military fighting that's going on so that protection of civilians can be begin to become a reality. Phyllis, as ever, thank you very much indeed. Phyllis Bennis is a fellow at the Institute thank for you. Policy Studies.